receive a microphone. I want us to make declarations over this nation. Declare, you're opening the portal. You're opening the portal. You're opening a way. You're opening up the heavens for an outpouring in our time. In our time, please, are there people who can pray? Are there people who can pray? Just make declarations over this nation. Oh, Jesus. Lord, we cry out for America right now, God. We declare that this nation belongs to you, God. Lord, we declare a shift in the atmosphere over this nation. From this day forward, we will be those that serve you. We declare that blessed is this nation because they belong to you. Father God, we come against the spirit of idolatry. We come against the spirit of pride. We come against the spirit of lust. We come against the spirit of idolatry. We come against the spirit of abortion. We tear them down now in Jesus' name. Name. We declare that this nation is yours. We declare that your church yes. will rise up, that we will shine, yes, that your Lord. word will go forth in power. Father, we repent right now. Where we've been divided, where we've been separated, God, tear down the dividing wall. Your word declares that you have torn down the dividing walls. And right now, God, may the walls in the church come down. May the walls of racism come down. May the walls of idolatry come down. May the walls of separation fall in Jesus' name. We are one nation under God. We are one nation under God. One nation, one nation, one nation from this day forward. Father God, may the party walls come down in this nation that we would no longer be Republican and Democrat, but we would be Americans, God. Blessed by God, serving you, God, following you, God. That is your word and your truth that will stand eternal in this nation, God. Shift us, God. Shift us, God. Shift us, God. In Jesus' name. Shift us, God. Father God, may we turn from following other idols. May we turn from following other gods. And may we shift and turn toward you. May we follow you, God. May every leader in this nation turn from the gods that they have followed and begin to follow you. May there be a shift take place in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. name. From this day forward, from this day forward, from this day forward, we follow you, we serve you, we fight for you, God. It is your banner. You are the Lord, our God, our banner. And from this day forward, the banner over America is love. The banner over America is love. It is you who is high and lifted up. And as we exalt you over America, as we lift up you, our banner, O God, you will begin to turn all men unto you. You will begin to draw in and reap the harvest in this nation, a harvest of righteousness, a harvest of fruitfulness. And you will once again bless this nation because you are our God. You, O oh God, from this day forward, are exalted oh, over America. Yes, no other flag but your banner, yes, O oh God, Lord. is exalted over this nation. Yes, you take preeminence right now in yes. this nation in yes. the name of Jesus. Yes, no Lord. other name but Jesus. Yes, no Lord. other name but Jesus. Yes, no Lord. other name but Jesus. Yes, no Lord. name above the name of Jesus. Yes, it's the only name by which we can be saved. Yes. There is no greater name but Hallelujah. yours, O oh God. And Father, we repent for exalting any other name above your name. We repent right now for division, God. We repent right now for turning and going after our own ways. We repent. We repent. We repent for not standing in the gap. We repent for being silent, God. We repent for our idolatry for our selfishness. We repent for our fear and our complacency, God. And we stand in the gap today. 
We stand in the gap for America today. That you, O oh God, might be the God of America. That you might turn from your anger. That you might relent. That you might once again bless this nation. That once again we might be your people. And you might be our God. Be our God again. Be our God again. Be our God again. Lord, be our God again. You and you alone. You and you alone. You and you alone. You and you alone, God. Shift this nation. Shift this nation. Shift your people. Awaken your church. Awaken your bride. Adorn her with splendor. Adorn her with holiness. Shift the battle in array. Shift the battle in array. Set the battle in array. Do it alone. that your word is true, that you have put us as a firebrand in the midst of this nation, and we will not hold our peace, that we will cry out day and night and night and day until you restore America unto what it was meant to be from the very foundation. Lord, there's a foundation that this nation was established upon. Rebuild the foundations. Rebuild the ancient past. Restore, restore, restore. Build it up, build it up, build it up. That which the enemy has torn down, build it back up. Build it back up. Build it back up. May it be a beacon of freedom. May it be a beacon of hope. May it be a beacon of your prosperity in this nation, in this day, in this time, in this season, God. Father God, may we take our place again. Father, may we begin to be a nation that sends forth missionaries into the highways and the byways where we have sat down and allowed other nations to be those that send missionaries out, God. Raise them up again. Raise them up again. Raise them up again. May once again America be the foremost sender of missionaries into the mission field. May we stand in your righteousness. May you begin to convict America of sin, righteousness, and judgment. May conviction come upon this nation. May we begin to have those that would stand up and call sin, sin. May we, may we call it what it is. May we call it what it is, God. May we call it what it is, God. Help us, God. No more compromise. No more compromise. No more compromise. Sin is sin. Sin is sin. And we repent, God. We turn from our wicked ways. We turn from our wicked ways, God. May you heal our land. 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 Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. He's saying, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Come into agreement with God in this word right now. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Say so. Declare you so. Amen. Amen. And amen. And amen. It is so. Amen. Hey. Hey. I want to tell you something. Uh, I want you to stop there, brother. But I want you to tell you this that uh, silence.
present in the face of evil is evil. And therefore, it is important that when we see evil, we pray against it. Uh, there was a time I was staying in, I come from northwestern Uganda in a town called Arua. And there was a time that so many witch doctors came into the city. It's a small town. So many of them came. And uh, we had small squires around the town. They began to host souls uh, for people to come and watch. Almost every corner you turn, there is a witch doctor having a soul. And you, you would see that they would get a knife and they would pierce a person from here. And the knife comes from here. And there's no blood. And this person is being driven all over the, the town for people to see. They will get a, 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 a machete, machete a, a panga, and just push it from here and come from the other side and they put the person on a pickup truck and drive the person around the town advertising the soul. And so, so many people would go for the soul. And so we gathered as believers. We said, I was yet young by that time, but we were on fire. And we said, we can never accept this. Sometimes being young is, is, is so good that... Uh, you, you are not afraid because you don't have experience. <laughs> so we did, not, we, did, we did not have experience of failure. We were just on fire. And so we said, we can never accept this. We can never accept this in our town. Let us gather together and fast and go and face this witch doctor. And so we gathered together and we fasted. And we went to their home, to their shrine. And we would enter inside and we say, we have come in the name of the Lord. Today, if you do not choose to be born again, leave our city. We command you that make your choice today. And everywhere we went, witch doctors left. And within a week, all the witch doctors that had all infiltrated our city left the city. And up to today, Arua town does not have witch doctors. Few years down the road, we began hearing that this other witch doctor died. This other witch doctor died because his crocodile, his crocodile swallowed him. This witch doctor died because his snake swallowed him. This witch doctor died. Their own things stand against them. And we understood and knew why. Because there was a group and a generation and an army who said to themselves, enough is enough. We can never allow the devil to rule our town. And because we made our stand, we dislodged the devil from our town. And today our town is a free town. Yes. I want to tell you, we were just a few people who went to their homes, to their shrines. Not everyone, not every born again in Arua, not every pastor in Arua was with us. But trust me, there was a change. Yes. And I want to tell you, if West Fork Christian Ch Center, Christian Fellowship Church can make that stand and say, we can never allow this in America. Trust me, change is coming. Yes. Change is coming. Yes. Change is coming. And change will begin from today and you will begin to hear of testimonies. You will hear that this happened in Virginia. This happened in Washington. This happened in New York because of the prayers that you have said from here. The testimony may not be from here, but you will hear the answers to your prayers coming. Yes. Change will come. I want you to have faith and be encouraged that the Lord is with you. And you're a gallant warrior and a fighter. Never give up. Never put your gun down. Always cock it and set it ready to shoot whenever the enemy shows up. And so when this brother was praying, I heard him say the word shift, shift, shift. And I was so glad. I want us to say those words again together seven times. I want to just, if you can, once more, just stand up on your feet as we shout that word seven times. Shift, shift, shift seven times. So one, two, three, we go. Shift, 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 shift. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Father, we begin right now to pray for a shift ah. in those who represent the people of this nation. Yes. That they would no longer be consumed oh. with their agendas, oh. but they would become consumed with the agendas yes. of the people. Yes. That the people would begin to cry out in righteousness. Oh. 
and call forth righteousness oh. and call forth peace and oh. call forth glory yes. into this nation so that we can begin oh. to follow the living God again as it was destined oh, to do yes, from the very beginning that we would be able to walk yes, in the freedom that there were dreams of yes, coming Jesus. forth from the forefathers, Father, yes. that came forth and said, this is what this place should yes, be. Lord. This is the foundation that it yes, should be on. Lord. So we call forth a shift yes, in those who represent the people yes. of God. Lord. And we declare that yes. those who will not shift will have to leave yes. that position. And others of righteousness yes. will begin to hold those positions. Yes. Father, we're not going to allow the devil oh. to come and lie to us anymore mm. and tell us that a Christian can't be a politician mm. because he'll eventually be corrupt. Mm. We declare that is not true. Yes. That's a lie of the adversary. Yes. That those who walk in righteousness yes. will always be able to speak and say and do things in righteousness. And we call forth that kind of people. We call forth that in our young people as they begin to pray, yes. prepare in their, uh, their, their education toward being those who would represent the people of this nation yes, before Lord. the world, yes. who would make decisions based on the word of God, yes, based on the peace of God, yes, based on the mission of yes, God, Lord. that they can come forth in this day and this hour. It is within the boundaries of the church to begin to see those things take place by their prayers yes, and by their declarations. Yes, we no longer will allow ourselves to be bullied by the darkness that tries to prevail, but we will speak forth the light of God that goes forth not just to see this nation change, but to see many nations, nations in South America that are filled with communism and socialism we declare that what takes place in this nation will change and transform those nations because they will see the truth of what it is to be a nation under God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah! Yes. Yes. Now, Bless uh, the Lord. I'm going to ask um, Pastor Mike and Pat to pray a prayer, but I, I, want, I want the leaders, if you're a leader in this church, I want you to come and stand by them as they make that declaration. Come on. You are a father in this land and you are a mother in this land. And uh, the, the word Goliath comes from the Hebrew word Galo, which actually means to kneel in a disgraceful way. And so what Goliath was doing to the children of Israel was to cast fear on them so that that can be revealed in a disgraceful way. And we are never allowing that in West Fork this side of West Fork. And now, as a father and a mother in this land, I'm asking you to pray prayers to dislodge every evil that had established altars on this land of West Fork and, and open up the doors for revival to come in. The Lord to Isaac told uh, uh, Esau that when you grow tired and you cannot take in anymore, you're tired of it, you will break free. And I believe that we in West Fork are tired. Yeah. We want to see revival in yeah. our time. We want yeah. to see revival in our land. Yeah. So dislodge those powers that have been ruling this land and ask the glory of God, the revival, miracle, signs and wonders to yeah. reign upon the land as we stand and agree with you. If you're a department head, get up here. We want you with us. You're a leader in this place. Let you to take care of stuff up there. Call come on down. Hallelujah. 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 Father, here we are in one mind and one accord. This side of the city. We speak now to every altar that's been built to religion. And every altar that's been built to seduction. Every altar that's been built to those who would try to hide the truth. Every altar that's been built to deception. You have no power here. The God of all creation has established himself in this place.
and he will no longer tolerate you partaking of his territory. In the name of Jesus, who shed his blood and gave his body for the church, we declare to you that your work here is finished. It's burnt down, tore down, cast into hell where it belongs. No longer will darkness prevail. No longer will destruction prevail. No longer will deception prevail. No longer will witchcraft prevail. Sorcery, your day is over. In the name of Jesus and by the power of the living Savior, we adjure his enemies to be defeated. No place for you. There is no more dry place here for you. But this land is watered by the spirit of the living God. And where he is, you have no right. You have no privilege. You have no place in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we loose right now the spirit of God, the glory of God, the power of God through this place where he has chosen to put his name above the door. We release it now into this community so that minds could be changed. Conviction by the Holy Spirit can come forth. Judgment can be rendered and grace can be extended in the name of Jesus. We say that the Savior has paid the price for your sins. Receive him. Receive him from the north and the south and the east and the west. We call forth the sons and daughters of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. And we in one mind and one accord say, Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And Lord, just as there used to be a lake right here on this property and people used to come and catch fish, Lord, we declare right now that this, this property and this place, God, will be known as fishermen of men who will save souls, God, for your kingdom. This day, Lord God, we declare it, Lord, as a prophetic thing, Lord God, that that was in the natural, Lord, right now, God, we call it forth in the spiritual, Lord God, that it will be known as a lake that catches fishermen of men. We are be fishermen of men, oh Lord God. This place will be known around the nation, Lord God, as a catcher of men, a fisher of men, Lord, for your kingdom to come, for your will to be done in this place, God. It's been way too long, God. Way too long, God. You have you have prov- oh, you have prophetically, God, yes, named Lord. this place, Lord God, as a place for fishermen of yes. men. Yes, and we declare it right now, Father God, over this nation, God, yes, and over the nations, God, that we reach out to, Lord God. Yes, Lord. We will be now, God, as fishermen of yes. men. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Woo! Yes. Hallelujah. Now, if, if, if you're sick, uh, <laughs> Jesus, thank you for your glory in this place.